Welcome to Love Them Knives, LTK here. What do we got? We've got a mass drop knife. Ah, yes, made by ProTech. Ferrum Forge Design. Oh man, it's a good one. All right, thank you so much for dropping in. I warned you guys when I did my Trader's Corner video on the 10th that there was something coming down the pike with Mass Drop. You need to sign up for a Mass Drop account so you'll get the announcement on things like this. This is dropping, I guess, on the 16th of January. And Ferrum Forge Mordax design made by ProTech. CPM 20 CV blade steel and you want it don't you yes you do because you should because you are knife addicts look at that drop baby so this is uh, made by ProTech so it's aluminum scales that are anodized in different colors is that sweet I mean that is that's really nice that's nice you like the design oh yeah it's a fair and forge design what the heck there you go. There's what it looks like. Check it out. Get your lust button going. 16th sign up. 239 bucks and another 20 bucks if you don't want the plain scales. You want the colored milled scales, which of course you must have. I know I must. So check it out. Button lock. Here we go. Look at that draw. I mean, that's just, woo, centered up. Nice. Feels light in the hand. Let's check out the weight on this thing. I'll give you all the information. I'll, I'll, I'll feed the papers in front of you so that you'll kind of get an idea what's going on. We got dust all over the place. 103, whatever. It, okay. Okay. 3.63 ounces and 103 grams. This is light, but it's a three and a half inch blade and it's a little over eight inches overall. And I'll prove that to you as well. We don't have Fancy in the studio. Fancy's gone in for testing with her S110V. So a little over 90, 92 uh, millimeters and close to three and a half maybe a sixteenth or an eighth over that so um and here we go eight and a quarter so the exact same size as the para two at 21 centimeters 6.3 103 grams that's light for a knife i mean that's lighter than the para two okay how crazy is that Really cool knife. I'm going to show you the paperwork here in a minute. Three millimeter blade thickness. So about a 0.12. Not quite an eighth inch, but close. Overall fatness. So that's fairly thin blade stock. I mean, not fat at least. 12 millimeters, 0.47. So about the exact same thickness as the paramilitary two. Okay, here's a compared to poor old, hey, the ultralight Mannix finally came out of retirement. I'm coming back in. So there you go. Same size. Pretty, pretty darn much the same size. Okay. Dude, it's just tough to be the ultralight Mannix when you've got something ultralight like this in your hands. And it's, you know... Feels really solid here. Deep carry pocket clip, right hand, mm -mm -mm, no left hand. Negatory there. Button lock, like I said. So it works like the button locks work, right? This collar comes over on this side a little bit to interfere with the blade. When you push this aside, it opens it up and releases the blade. There you go. So that seems pretty nice right there. OK, 
Okay, these screws obviously secure your uh, stop pin right there. Got a big front choil to go forward with. Stone wash blade. Is it sharp? Well, this is a prototype. But, you know, the productions I think will be out in May, but I'm probably getting ahead of myself. You'll find out when you see the drop. But yeah, there's your box. Of course, this is Proto, but... And this is the blue milled handle, which... Mass Drop sent to me uh, to review. Here's the information here on the Mass Drop knife and uh, pause and read Mordax firm forge and you know I did look and uh, I think the Mordax that what they sold traditionally on Blade HQ and stuff was like $450 etc etc so you're getting this designed for half the price and this is you know what the green one looks like there's the Ferrum Forge boys and um, serialization, first production only, blah, 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 blah. Here you go, 8.25 inches, 3.6 inch blade, CTS 204P. Here's what the plane handle looks like. You can pause and read this. I'm just going to blow through this real quick and get back to the knife. Uh, <sighs> Protec. Yes, and so they're going to give you a blurb on Protec. 100% made in the USA. So instead of this being made in China traditionally by Wee Knives or Riyadh or some other maker, this is being made in the USA. So that's exciting. It's being made in the USA. So here we go. And, and there we go. That's the one I was supposed to get, I guess. I was supposed to get this gray milled. And then they go, we can't remember. We don't know who got the gray mill because they got mixed up. So we'll send you the black DLC coded. So here's your, you know, your pricing stuff in any case. So get ready. Um, this is the good thing about having. This is a good thing about having. And here's the rest of your specs. A, a mass drop account is because, and I'll give you a link, which is my referral link. So if you sign up and then you buy a knife, I get a $10 credit, which helps me buy these knives because I buy them to review. And it sure helps my budget. So if you'll do that, and then you can pass your own referral link onto your buddies. And when they buy one, you get $10 for each new guy that buys a knife. So it's a great deal. Here you go overall. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, this was that Mordax that was on Blade HQ back in the day. 485 bucks. See what I'm saying? 3.6 inch blade. And there's was Bowler N690. This was going to be an M390 equivalent with this 20 CV. So I think better blade steel, a lot lighter, still very structural. Aluminum, interesting, grippy, nice. Ergos, good. Going forward. Yes. Blade action just drops like that. I mean, it's just like, boom. What was that? Boom. I mean, if that, I, I like it. I like it. My wife just about hit me with a frying pan across the room because I kept doing it like this. You know. Because it is addictive. Nice, like the machining, Ferrum Forge badge on there, engraved in there, their logo. See all these different levels in here. I'm excited about it. First of all, you're asking yourself, you know, of all the knife reviewers, they're going to send a prototype to love them knives, really? So that's kind of what I thought. I don't want to hex myself for the future, but... It was awful nice they thought about me. I guess I'll be seeing them in Vegas at the SHOT Show, which starts the 21st, 22nd through the 25th, whatever. And I'm going to look up Mike and Jonas and buy them a beer. Very nice. 
let's take a look inside. I, there, well, there's nothing really to disclose, but I mean, hey, I don't want to cut you off and not make you play this again just so you can get another look at it. There you go. Man. Somehow, I scored. So I know what I want. I want the blue milled. And that green, it looks pretty good too. And by the way, this was a picture that I got from them. So you can see the plane. And this is like the $239 base model. And then from there, you know, another 20 bucks. What the heck, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. That is sweet. Take a look at that. Centered right up. I'll be interested in handling a production model when they come out. But nice that it's deep carry. Pocket clip looks good. Uh, I think I slid it in my pocket mm, once or twice just to try it out. Don't remember it hanging up or having any issues. So, yeah. Nice sound to it. Functions good. No hang up there. Ooh, drop hard. Drops hard. There you go. Click. So, oh well. Hey. I just thought you guys would like to know. A couple of people heard me on Trader's Corner saying, something's coming down the pike. And they couldn't. I mean, they started... Uh, needling me sending me emails like come on man tell me something tell me something and uh i said no if i told you i'd have to kill you so it wasn't that long a wait now four days we'll live through it but yes i kind of like this usa made aluminum nice nothing wrong with that pretty sturdy stuff and uh you're getting some great blade steel. It feels good in the hand. Reverse grip. Man, this is light. This is light, you know. Whew. That is incredibly light. You know, very pocketable, even at a 3.6 inch blade, eight and a quarter overall. It's lighter than the paramilitary two by a couple of tenths. That para is like 3.8, so click if i had a paramilitary two on the table i'd weigh it up for you but i don't they're both gone right now rex and fancy so here we are we're stuck with this oh well hey just for the hell of it this is not going to be fair this is not a fair fight we're going to go to the manix ultralight that's not going to be fair okay that's 81 grams that's 81.7 grams 2.88, okay, sorry. But not quite even a full ounce lighter. I mean, this thing weighs nothing, okay? So this thing is not, it still feels substantial in your hands, you know? So it doesn't feel too, too light, but wow, that's a lot of blade in a nice package for no more than it weighs. And there's how it, you know, it's got that integral look a little bit because of the way the back halves come together and everything. So, pretty cool. Mm, nice feel there. Rotisserie time. Interesting. I get these mass drop knives when they do these collaborations all the time. And I really do. The Duhara, you know... The Bob Terzuola, Ferrum Forge, you know, the, the Schwartz with the millet made that Schwartz, uh, yeah, Perpetua. God, my brain ain't working. But, wow. I do like this. This is really interesting. Of course, you know, Ferrum Forge, they have the Fortis Knives uh, series that you can buy. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what people think about this being in about the same price range. Sometimes it's nice to get away from titanium. Second of all, it lightens it up a bit. And uh, 
thinner blade stock, more slicing power, can do some piercing, stone wash, ready to go, made in the United States, and there you go. I love it. Take care. I'm going to let you go. Just thought I'd let you in on the free preview. I'll give you a link to Massdrop so you can sign up for an account. If you haven't got one, a lot of you guys already do. But, you know, stay up on, on this kind of stuff. The uh, Orca is about ready to come out in February. That's the Oaks Knife. And, you know, just so many different collaboratives coming out. Of course, Taji Baruka with Prism. On and on and on. Just really, really good knives. The Laconico one. That was the Keen. That was really great. So, just, it just... Wow, I really like what they're doing as far as those things go. Uh, that really makes me pay attention to what they're doing. All right, going to cut you loose. Thank you so much. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. So stay sharp.